Alright, so Big Boo's balcony. Let's do this. Let's finish up this level. I mean, except for the 100 coin star. But we're gonna address that at the end of the LP. Um, so right now, we're gonna do the same thing as before, except we don't have uh, any time constraint because we need a vanish cap. Um, we're just gonna do a skillful little wall jump here and land right on here. Which, this actually took me a while to find when I was a kid, but when I found it, I was overjoyed. Because making it up to this balcony was just such a challenge for me when I was little, because I just couldn't figure out how to do it. I thought you had to grab one of those boxes that let you, like, fly really high into the air and just, like, land on this thing. But I could never get, get that to work, so eventually I had to find this. And I'm using my other strategy to fight the, uh, Big Boo. And our final encounter with the Big Boo on the roof, and getting there is, like, probably, again, the hardest part of the level. Alright, let's do this. You're gonna want to long jump over to here and land on top of here without sliding off. Then I usually change to this view. And then you're gonna want to, you know, long jump up to the top of the roof up here. I usually just zoom in to here so I can see up close and uh, know if I'm going too far and I'm gonna slide off. Uh, okay, yep, going a little too far here, so let's move over and switch back to our outer view, and of course, why are you moving so far, Mario? Okay, perfect, now we'll slide off, and if you grab this box, there's a one-up in here, and a star here. I'm not jumping off this roof like I did with that boat in Jolly Roger Bay all the way back in the beginning of the LP. No way. That would just be stupid, and I got zero coins. Woo for me. So... Alright, let's go up to the third floor now that we've beaten everything in the main floor, or whatever you want to call it, and the basement floor. The first floor and the basement floor. Alright, so let's get to it. Um, let's go to the top floor right now, and... Ooh, speed run! Speed run! Speed run! Ooh, speed run glitches! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm. Miyamoto put that glitch in for me. Alright, and here's a painting right here. Uh, I don't really know what the first star is going to be, so I'm just going to jump into the middle. Um, now you should take note right now that, um, okay, shocking arrow lifts, okay. So, just take note that, um, the height you're at when you jump into that painting will control the water level of this place when you jump in, surprisingly enough. Or, not really surprisingly, especially if you've played this game, but it's like, uh, it's pretty different from the other paintings where we've just jumped in and, you know, gotten straight to the level. Jumping in, the, the height at which you jump into the painting actually has an effect on the level, which is pretty cool. But not only can you uh, change the height by, uh, or change the water level by um, jumping into the painting at a certain height, you can also change the water level by uh, hitting certain uh, switches like those to change the water level, and I actually should have hit that switch over there when I had the chance, but I really wasn't, uh, thinking about what I was doing. So, hitting those switches will change the water level, and since we need to get, uh, towards a higher elevation, it probably would have been wise to actually jump into a, uh, into the level at a higher elevation, or to hit the switch while I had the chance. Um, I think this is, a uh, this water level will do... What you want to do is get over to this platform right here. Yeah, I could definitely make it. A backflip would probably have been more. Okay, that works. That definitely works. And this guy's here to fuck you up, but don't get fucked up. Oh, why? Why? That's so stupid. Like, I don't even get knocked off from that stupid amp thing, but I get knocked off because of, like, stupid glitch. Awesome. All right, let's try this again. Without the fail. Alright, let's go, Mario. Come on. Shocking arrow lifts. It's pretty... No, not again. Not again. It's pretty shocking, I must say. This fire will not knock me off. I will not let it... No! No! Fuck! Stupid! Oh my god. Just stupid. I hate this. Screw you, Miyamoto. Oh. I'm just not having good luck today. I'm not having... I'm not feeling it today. Oh my god. Oh my... Okay, I can tolerate this. Maybe a backflip will bring me up here. 
fuck. Oh my god, cool Miyamoto with your friction. I'm not Luigi. This isn't Luigi in Galaxy 2. That. Oh my god. But just, just, just. Oh my god. Just Miyamoto, like, you're just showing us how cool you are today, aren't you? Hey, you wanna move over there? Because I love just getting beat up by this amp. Alright, come on, let's go. Let's just make- okay, let's just grab this star and get out of here. Never again. Never again. Of course, it would be my 69th star that would give me so much trouble. Obviously. Oh my god. Rage. Alright, there's a phone call coming for me, so hold on. Alright, I'm back, and I'm ready for action. Let's go back in here. Uh, I really don't know uh, what we're gonna have to do. Top O the town. Okay! This is not going to require us to have the water level extremely high, because no matter what you do, um, I'm pretty sure the only way you can get the water high enough to get into that cage is by jumping into the uh, painting at, uh, at really high. I don't think there's anything that could uh, allow you to get there any other way in this level. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do is basically get to the top of the town. Um, and I don't know if we've seen this enemies yet, but they try and grab you. But if you grab them from the back and toss them like the Bob Om King, they will blow up. And it doesn't matter if you throw them off a cliff. They won't come back saying, Oh, you must fight with honor! Because Bob Oms obviously have honor. Well, actually, they do have honor. I mean, think about it. They suicide to kill Mario. They're pretty honorable. Probably the most honorable of Bowser's minions. Besides Clubbas, of course. Clubbas are just extremely honorable. I mean, just look at the way they sleep. With their axes, or with their maces in their hand. Like... Club asleep with their maces in their hand. How badass is that? Like, come on. Like, they're ready for battle in their sleep. Amazing. But... Not as amazing as how quick that was. You found 70 power stars. The mystery of the endless stairs is solved. Obviously, just by getting power stars, it's automatically solved. Thanks to you. And is Bowser ever upset? Now, on to the final bout. Except I still need to get 50 more stars before I feel like doing that. So sorry about that. Um, secrets in the shallows and sky. Alright. Another secret level. So, excuse me. Um, we are going to drain all of the water for starters. Because that's pretty much what you have to do. And so I don't know where. Oh, wait, no, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's all the way over there on the opposite end of where I actually jumped to. The switch to uh, drain the water completely. Because that's what you're going to want to do for this level. Uh, as you can see, the switch is right there. And if you haven't already picked up on it, um, the le the uh, elevation it at that the switch is at is uh, the elevation that it will bring the water to when you hit it. So, yeah. So now we're gonna, oh wait, no, I think there might be, uh, I don't think that, that there's a secret here, but it couldn't hurt to look. Because I'm pretty sure that there isn't anything here, but, you know, okay, yeah. Just making sure, just checking, can't, can't hurt to be too safe. Uh, so yeah, now we're gonna go over here where I know there are some secrets. First one's behind this little, uh, box here, if the view stuff being so dumb. Um, it should have said one. I don't know if you saw it or heard it, but, um, yep, now it says two, so, I mean, it can only be logical that there was a one before it. And push this in for number three. Now, these enemies can be pretty annoying. They will launch you in the opposite direction that, uh, they're facing when they get you. So, just do this. And they'll chuck you backwards. And you want to do that to get to the top when there's no water, and you don't want to just get chucked, because then you'll lose health, and you don't want to lose health, especially when you meet them later on in the clock level, for people who've played this game, uh, tick-tock clock, you don't want to get thrown off by them in there, because then you're just screwed, and, well, I'm, I'm not going to go into whole, the whole no one wants to be screwed thing again, because, I mean, virgins, exactly, so, anyway, anywho, we're going to get some more coins to restore our health, 
And I believe there may be another secret in that box. No guarantees. No guarantees, but who knows? No, wait, I don't think there is. No, there's not. Uh, there's one on top of there. That's the one I want. Uh, and no, no! Oh. Boo! This is some mighty fine bullshit. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Alright, let's get up here. In this block, you will find another secret. Excuse me. Excuse me, again. Just had some. Whoa. I need to calm down. Ate a little too much, uh. L -E Elio's Pizza. I mean, Elio's Pizza is just splendid. Uh, and here's our last secret. Alright. Of course, it would be all the way over there. Fuck you, Miyamoto. Alright, so we have to go all the way over there. Yeah. Oh! No! That would have been so awesome. You have no idea how awesome that would have been. Oh my god. That would have been amazing. Oh my god. Why? Cool, Miyamoto, for ruining that wonderful, wonderful moment. That would have been so cool. And then I could have hit the switch and then I could have got out there with no problems at all. No! problems. Uh -huh. But now that we've raised the water level, we can get on here. And we can go up here and get our power stuck. No stupid mistakes to be made. And... I don't know. I don't know if I should end the episode yet. I don't know what star we have next. Uh, I'm just gonna jump in really high because I don't know. Express elevator, hurry up! Well, no. There is actually another level to do here. But as you can see, this place is completely flooded. Now let's go, let's actually go and get a different power star. Because I'm not going to put that to waste. We're going to go to town. Uh, I actually didn't know this place existed for a long time in my, uh, uh, my career of playing this game. Even though I started playing it when I was like maybe six or seven I don't remember probably closer to six uh, so I it took me a while to beat this game and discover a lot of its secrets but you can imagine my surprise when I first found that there was a whole other part to that stage because it is a rather it would be it would be a very short stage if uh, this part wasn't added to it so let's grab a red coin to restore our health. Even though we can completely restore our health by surfacing, I mean, it's only obvious that we need a red coin. Also, so let's hit this. No, wait, that's not going to do anything for us. That's just going to bring the water level to the top, which it already is. Let's, uh, that's the one we're looking for. So let's hit that switch right there. So we'll completely drain the water level. I don't know why my tongue just rolled there, but whatever. That works. Alright, I realize we're running low on time, so I'm going to see if I can get this really quick. Uh, what you're going to want to do is grab this right here. Then get over to the other side of town as quickly as you can. Speed run. Speed run. Oh my god, rage. Even though there's nothing to rage about, I got inside this, quick, this cage really quickly. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. I'm just afraid that I'm going to, like land outside of the cage while I still have my vanish cap on and just have to go all the way back there. But anyway, fine note to end the episode on, indeed. So I will see you all next time.